Hello guys. <laughs> Today it is a bumper episode. <laughs> Due to popular demand, I have decided to make this video because a lot of people have been asking me this question. Mr. Comedy, you have done video on questions that immigration or officials in Canada, Canadian airport are asking visitor visa holders. Please. People that will be going to Canada for work, do they have questions to answer? I say yes. They say, please do video. That is why I have decided to answer those, my subscribers and my social media followers with this video. Some days ago, somebody reached out to me. He was on his way to Canada after he landed the job. So he already did everything. He has his visa. He was like, somebody sent your video to me, the video you did about questions they ask visitor visa holders in Canada. I was really impressed. Please, as a person going to Canada with a work visa, are there questions I will need to answer at the port of entry? I said yes. He said, please give me updates. Nobody even told me. So that is one of the reasons I'm making this video. And for many of you who are applying for jobs online and you think, once you get that job, get that visa, you will just reach there, you will enter. It's not like that. Too. You will answer some questions. And there have been cases where people get deported, even though they were on a work visa. If deportation is not possible, there would have been no need for the question. So, <laughs> so just stay with me, which is why I've decided to answer you to do this video. And for many of you who think you cannot have visa sponsorship jobs online, now I lie you. People are getting this job on a regular basis. I am telling you, if you are just coming across my channel for the very first time, please do wait to subscribe and support me because here, you know, the only offering you have to give me is just subscribing and giving this video a big thumbs up because all those your big, big like you are giving my videos. I, I really appreciate it too. It allows YouTube to, you know, recommend this video to other people as well. <laughs> so now, if this questions that these immigration people in Canada are asking work visa holders. If it's something you have interest in, be ready to roll with us. Today I'm with my full regalia. <laughs> uh, I just, you know, I just want to cook beans. I mean, I like beans. So before the beans, I said, let me give you guys some update. <laughs> because since I left Nigeria, it's beans, beans, beans. It's one of my best meal. <laughs> I don't play with beans. Even here in America, they know I'm a beans guy. So let's go to this video proper. The first question they will ask you, those of you on work visa, how are you doing? Or how are you? Just say, I'm fine, sir, or I'm fine, man. Please, I have realized that one of the biggest challenge or one of the biggest challenges many of you on visa are having is lack of confidence. All this way, people, they're not a true person. Just compose yourself. Nothing will happen. People have done it, you will do it. People are passing that port of entry, then you will say, go pass. Compose yourself. Not just the shake. No. You don't get visa. God don't give you, God has given you that visa. Compose. Be confident. No level. You will enter. The next question they, will, they, may, they may most likely ask you, what brings you to Canada? Just tell them, I am here for work. Or I am here for a job. Then at that time, you will be seeing them. You will then be asked for your passport. Because inside your passport, that is where your visa is. And one thing I will make you understand here, please listen oh. It is at the port of entry that is where you will be given your work permit. Because I have heard from a lot of my followers, from some people that will be saying, hey, my travel agent said he wants to process work permit visa for me. Once I get, get the visa, he will just give me the work permit before I travel. It's not like that, oh. Work permit will be given to you at the port of entry in Canada. Don't forget this part, oh. And 
Make sure your passport. Make sure your passport. You renew it before you apply for visa. Because if your passport, if you get to the port of entry there and your passport is left with like maybe one year to expire, they will not give you more than one year work permit. Because your work permit expiration date will not exceed expiration date of your passport. So if you are going there, let your pass let, let the expiration date of your passport be long. So that if that job they have given you is for two years, you can have a two years work permit. Take note to not be say you go to go Canada now, you get two years job offer. You are going there with passport that you're going to get a one year passport. They will not give you that two years work permit to that one is noted. Then inside that place, they will ask you, is it your first time of coming to Canada? At this time, they are still. Maybe they are about to open your passport to, as the case may be. If it's your first time, you say yes. Note, don't lie, yo. Because getting a work permit job is not easy, yo. Getting a visa sponsorship job, getting a job in Canada while you are in your country is no joke. So don't play with it. Don't come and lie to spoil your chance. So if they realize that you are lying, oak bari, mm -hmm. Then they will not ask you when you when you've told them you are here for a job. They will not ask you what is your job. Yeah, you will need to you need more explanation. Though. Be ready before you leave home. Once they ask you what is your job, if you are there as a caregiver, I am here as a caregiver. My job is a care is, is a care. My job, I am a caregiver. You understand? So. This is based on people that I have passed, that me I have heard. So I just I jotted everything down. It is from there I'm giving you updates. First hand information. This is what I'm giving you. This is not from my beans in the kitchen. It's one legit. Pay attention. Now they will ask you. They may ask you the name of that your boss, or that your job, and the company's phone number, and the name of your. They will ask you the name of your employer. Because they want to be sure. They will not just allow you to pass. Oh, because there have been cases. There have been skeletal cases. So these immigration officers, these border officers, don't think they don't like you. They are just doing their job. They like you. They are doing what they are being paid for. <laughs> so now, the next one, after that, that name of your employer, they may ask you, Questions on your health. Don't forget, at this very point in time, you must have health insurance. And you also need to get workers' compensation insurance. Now, somebody is going to Canada to go and work. <laughs> you understand? Now, the next one is <laughs> please calm down. This very one, eh? make a job advice sooner. They will ask you this question. They have used this question to deport, to deport, to deport people from there. The question goes like this. What are your plans after the duration of your job? Or what are your plans after your work permit expires? Then, maybe you can say, eh, I will just renew if you value there. Because even if that is on your card, keep them for your chest. Not be everything that they talk, oh, it go point you. Is it not the same Canada that created visitor visa for people to come to Canada and get a work and convert the visa that is still report that is still repatriating people with the visa that is coming there to come and find work? That is what I say. Even if this policy is in place, they don't want people to be coming to abuse it. So that is why. Why do you ask you? Eh? What are your plans after your work permit expires? You just say, I'll be going back to my country. Say it with confidence. Smile. Even if when you know, say, you know, they go anywhere. You know that stuff. Just smile. Even when you know you, you are just there to stay. You, are, you, are, you want to look up and find PR. Just smile. <laughs> smile is very, very important too. So now they will also ask you, have you ever been convicted? 
of any crime in your own country if it's no you understand no now one thing i have to tell you here is this these questions i have just listed list please listen no please listen carefully now because you are on a work visa because don't forget oh it is right there they will give you your work permit to all these people that are asking you questions there at the airport they, are, they want to give you work permit so just know if you not prepare yourself you may never get it but by god's grace you will get it but follow what i'm telling you you know everything i say here is legit is confirmed because i talk to people from all over the world on a regular basis especially just i have a lot of people in canada that i communicate with too so i am telling you what's currently trending now because you are there on a work visa ordinarily you need to have money you need to have proof of funds that you will use to support yourself during the first month in canada because that first month you are the one to take off yourself it is after the first month you will start being paid don't forget this part oh. so if you are just going there without having any money trust me they may just deport you you need money for that first month so and these questions i have just asked it is as if you are going alone if you are not going alone if you are going with maybe your spouse they can ask you are you going alone or are you guys together that is your spouse either your wife or your husband you say yes if you are going there with your children your children are with you are these your kids you say yes they may still ask you to prove that that person standing close to you that you are going with that you have claimed is your spouse is your spouse they may ask you for proof and they may also ask you for proof that these kids are yours that is how it is oh i am just telling you this in case you reach that time they cannot go over you now like i said for that proof of funds you need to have money and this money you need to have it's not like you need to have all the big money like when people are applying for the visa no this one is just money you need to take off yourself during that first month because after that first month you will start getting paid <laughs> so and don't forget this part if you have cash on you and that cash is over ten thousand canadian dollars you will have to declare that money right there because if you have because you cannot go in you cannot go you cannot go past there with more than ten thousand dollars without declaring it trust me it is an offense you may get penalized when they eventually realize that you are there carrying cash worth over ten thousand dollars and you didn't declare it you don't want to have a problem so now these are the questions and my own advice to you that is looking at me now even if you have not gotten this visa people are still getting this visa because as a travel advisor i know people i am talking on a regular basis if it's not happening i won't come here to say it's happening people are getting this job any wish to people are just getting it like i have said in my previous videos you can do it before me i came here to america a year before I came here for the first time, I didn't really see America in the picture. Trust me, I didn't just really see it in the picture. It just happened. God did it for me. So God will also do it for you. But don't give up. Keep applying for these jobs. Watch my videos. Get your credentials together. Be getting ready. You must not get everything one day. Get this one ready. Get this one ready. Get this one ready. Be gathering them, even if you don't have the money. If your goal is to travel abroad, just be getting these documents together. Follow me, watch my videos. Be getting your videos to your documents together. And watch other people's videos too. That will educate you when it concerns Jackpa. Because that's what I was doing. When I was back in Nigeria, I was preparing myself when I was getting ready to travel. Because I said, I don't want to come to America and be like JJC. 
I want to come here and quickly blend it. And to be able to do that, I have to start watching a lot of videos, which I did. So, guys, please support me by giving this video a thumbs up and please support me by subscribing. Support me. I want to go and cook beans. <laughs> Till I see you in my next video. Respect. Keep winning. <laughs>